All right, you're fine, sir. So what we're going to demonstrate here is what we're going to call our thermal rebound drill. Um, when we have a well-advanced fire, we know we can see this fire. We don't need a thermal imager to see that. Um, but if we weren't able to necessarily see the fire, and say we were moving down a hallway and we encountered high heat at the ceiling, which we can see on our camera here, we can see high temperatures. On the board is showing yellow, which is over 500 degrees. We got temperatures up to 600 right here at the threshold of the door. If we were to just pencil the ceiling, as many people have been taught, can you go ahead and pencil the ceiling real quick? One big short burst. You got it. We see that there's some gray scale that's moved in, but we've got a, still a lot of yellow that's building up back there and it's rebounded back. Not, not quite as much as I thought it was going to actually, but it's still building up. We're gonna give it a second to get going again. Um, um, but what we will do is remember that as we're going out a hallway, if we're going to prevent the fire from rebounding fast and coming back towards us, superheating gases, burning fuel along the way, whether it's furniture, uh, the uh, building materials, building construction, um, we're going to need to stop that by wetting it as we go. So we're gonna prove to you right now that flowing and moving is a better way of uh, knocking this fire back and punching it in the deep. So we'll, we'll just build up to it. We'll do one more short verse on the ceiling. We'll just watch the camera as we do it and see how much it knocks down. That's good? All right. Look how fast the thermal rebound is. It's already built back up to where it was and it's creeping back across the ceiling. But we do see some steam conversion in the ceiling as well. If we rake it across the ceiling about halfway from the threshold all the way to halfway through the room, we start erasing it and kind of pushing that fire back, pushing the heat back um, as we go. So what would happen if we were just to paint all that yellow away until we found the fire and then we applied water to the seat of the fire? Will we have any thermal rebound? No, we would eliminate all the heat along the way, eliminate its ability to grow again um, and allow it to stop the fire from growing altogether, which is eliminating the problem. You ready to paint it? Let's do it. All right, here we go, bro. Paint it back and forth. As we're moving down the hallway, we're just going to paint that thing. Checking for our progress. 